We talk about what we want on this show. All right, torture talk. You know what it is, man. So look at this goofy shit. This shit crooked. All right, I want to talk about this shit real quick, man. Yeah, I want to talk about this shit. So, 69 did two new songs. One of the songs he did in, I think it was in Uganda, WAPA. You know what I'm saying? That draw, that, that draw, that draw fire. That was kind of hype, man. The draw's all right, you know, like, like. That shit is all right, man. You know what I mean? To, 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 to a dude, to a dude, dude. Oh, 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 Afro, oh, Afro beats. Yeah, the draw's all right, man. I like the Afro beats. Afro beats is fire, bro. Um, And he did a good job. I think we're the only ones worried about the snitching shit. You mean as, you mean as American Africans? African Americans, or, or or the culture of yeah, I think the culture or, of or the hip hop culture of I think the culture of African American, American hip hop American African American culture. Okay, I think that we're the only ones that worry about snitching. I think that we we take snitching as real life, but we don't take rappers talking about killing each other and killing thirty niggas and pushing drugs that they never push. We don't take that as real life. Word is both. <laughs> we think that that's all right. We are, we we cool with we cool with rappers uh lying about that shit, but when it comes to snitching, you you really can't do that. <laughs> We're not gonna go to this whole fake snitching shit. Yo, I'm saying look, because most of these most of these rappers are not telling the truth, bro. Yeah, it, they it's, all liars, man. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, they liars. Right you got well. a good percentage of them are real. They real, but these niggas are like drones. They like, the, I right, I put you like this. You seen Chief Keith yesterday? Come out with what's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks sick. He looks sick. That's that shit I don't like. He looks like he like look. Like, but they pride they, a lot of these rappers, they pride themselves on looking like killers. Yeah. Like, Why though? You he, are a millionaire. You would never, you would never, you know, I'm not gonna say you would never do nothing like that because some of them will. Uh-huh. But why is it that I think when that whole term of you can't take the hood out of a nigga, that is absolutely a hundred percent unequivocally real. It's not true. That's a hundred percent real. You can't take the hood out of a lot of these niggas. Out of a lot of them, no. But the right ones? Like, no, no. I'm talking like about. Jay-Z? I'm talking about. I'm talking Nas? about. One, I'm talking about the average person mm-hmm. that is from the hood. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I could be wrong. I'm gonna tell you why I could be wrong. I just thought about something. Okay, right? about the see average, the yeah. average person that comes from out of the hood, if they are raised out of the hood, you could take it out of them. But a lot of these rappers, mm-hmm. they just get hit with a million dollars. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So if they just get hit like that, you still hood. They still hood. They don't even actually. They look at it like, "Well, I could take this shit right here and flip this shit." Yes. Some of them believe that. They haven't been taught to a new way of culture, a new yeah. way of saying, "Yo, bro, you don't have to do what you're doing. You don't have to take this little money over here and flip t- two yeah, birds yeah, over yeah, here. Flip two birds. Do where you gotta do it. Like, All you gotta do, you know what I mean? All you gotta do is have a bunch of good ass raps and good ass songs, and you can. Some of, but some of them, believe it or not, they get to that point with. And they can't leave their friends behind, and their friends are the ones who, what's the name? But just get just get into the six nine shit, right? Mm-hmm. I totally believe that he's a character. Yeah. Right. Yep. But at this point in his career, it's undeniable. You can't say that he's not doing something that is whether you think he's doing it for clout. Or whether you think he's doing it for uh, uh, attention, he's still doing it. And rappers never do this. You don't never see a rapper going to Uganda. What rapper do you know went to Uganda or or fucking Nigeria or whatever country that they go to and do a video with poor people? Rappers, cause all you rappers can say whatever you fuck you want about six nine. I don't give a shit. But yeah. y'all don't do shit. Yeah. None of you niggas do shit. 
So you can't talk to me about 6ix9ine when you don't do a motherfucking thing. All y'all do is wear jewelry. He wears jewelry and he just gives out money. <laughs> All the time. All the fucking time. He goes straight to the fucking hoods of the hoods. He's, yo, he stayed with a, he went to, was it Colum uh, Cuba or Columbia, one of them? He does it. He stayed with a family, a poor family for two weeks. Yeah? Yes. I thought he was just Lived in there. there and, uh, it, no, he lived with them <laughs> for two weeks or a week or some shit. Wow. What rapper you not doing that? Not too many. If you, listen, he don't, save the whole clout shit because the boy is a millionaire and he don't need to do it. He don't need to do it. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't think he's the asshole that he portrays himself to I think he's be. a, he's like 50 Cent. Yeah. 50 like Cent 50. is the asshole yep. to the people he don't like. Yep. For well. people you don't like, he's not an asshole. He's not an asshole, yep. That's yep. how I look at it. Yep, that's totally 50. 50 that's Cent. totally 50. 50, 50 is a really 59, 59. 59 But that's why 55 was fucking with him Yeah though. 59 Before all that 50 was fucking with him Yeah 59. Right before his shit got fucked up Yeah yeah 50 was fucking 50 was about to put some shit on with him Yeah He did a song with him Him and uh Uncle Murder They did a song with him Uncle Murder like well, Who's supposed to be one of the realest niggas out there Was it Uncle Murder or No it wasn't Uncle Murder It was the other boy It was not Casanova Punch. Yeah it was Casanova I think it was Casanova They did the video together When he When he When uh, the bull was speeding around in the car, in the cop car. Um, um, six nine was he was doing donuts in the cop car. You didn't see that video? Yeah, they did what was a that song. Upo or something like that. Upo or something like that. He have the weirdest names of songs. But I'm just saying, bro. I'm saying, you can't really say too much about the man now. Yeah, the songs. If y'all go out and listen to the songs, the songs. If you went to Afro beat songs, if you're into the um. The gasolinas and shit like, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what they call their genre of music, but if you hear that song too, both of them songs is fire, bro. Most people For the genre of what it is, those songs are good. Yeah. People don't. The thing is, Americans are so used to what they hear and see other celebrities say. They only. They're like, what they call them? NPCs. Non-playable characters. Mm -hmm. They only go off of what other people say. They yeah. don't have a brain of their own. So if everybody says that they like six nine now, they're gonna like six nine now. If everybody come out tomorrow and say no, nah, he's canceled again, then everybody's gonna cancel him again. They act like NPCs. That's all they are. But I think he. Uh, I think he knows that. I think he's he not knows, stupid. I think he knows what's what to do now. And how to navigate through all that now. Six just don't is a do no, very just, smart dude, I just don't though. do no music here. Y'all don't to give I'll him just, credit for yeah, yeah, his yeah. intelligence. He yeah, plays yeah. chess, not checkers, bro. Yeah, he definitely plays... Uh, that boy the, plays chess, not yeah, checkers. Yeah, he definitely plays checks. He's not dumb at all. But a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas they, they, they believe that he is dumb. <laughs> they all... A lot of people... <sighs> Believe that six nine is the. If you talk to, it's a couple of people that I realized that are not dumb, and I'm just gonna say a couple of people, and six nine is one of them. What happens is you get a lot of people who automatically just put him in a zone in this class and be like, oh, he's stupid. I don't fuck with him. Blah 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 blah. But then when you ask them why, they'll say because he did this. Be like, well, how did that affect you? If I had did something with him, he would have did that to me. That's why. Like, no. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Shut the fuck up. I mean, he would, but you should be smart enough to be like, uh. I seen somebody say, this is the craziest shit I seen. Somebody said, man, he got jumped by those niggas. I bet you he snitch. What? Like, first of all, goofy ass nigga. They had their face in the camera. They snitched on their own fucking self. <laughs> Who is he going to snitch on? I'm like, what? Niggas was like, yeah. He going, I bet you he go snitch. And I'm like, nigga, if you got jumped, you would tell too, nigga. Like, niggas crap me up with this snitching shit. Most of y'all would tell. Most of y'all would tell. 
99% of you niggas will tell. We'll see y'all niggas. Why are y'all sitting here saying that y'all wouldn't tell? If if they <sighs> if you had if they said you gonna get twenty five to life, and you and they let first of all, not niggas bad, man, fuck that. I ain't snitching, I'll take twenty five. But they gave you three months in prison first. Then they came back and said, Well, hey, listen. Who did it? <laughs> you gonna be like, it was him. <laughs> It was him. It was him. Where is Bo? Most of y'all niggas did. You're not built for that. Where is Bo? That's why I'm not in crime syndicates. Most niggas will. Most like niggas that. a tell because they will miss their pussy. I like pussy. They girlfriend will make them tell. Like who was that? Like Gunner. You gonna let these niggas? You might as well. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, that's but right. I'm just gonna... It was like another boy. In the, yeah. It was YSL, right? Yeah, I think so. It was another boy. They had a recording, right? Him and, yeah, yeah. So she telling him, well, you might as well do woo, do woo, do woo. You going, you, you, yeah. listen, you going, you going to go in there and and another nigga going to be fucking me. That's all I'm going to tell you. Yep. That's yep. all I'm going to tell you. Yep. So you better not go in jail because yep. I'm going to have another nigga fucking me. Niggas are like, oh, fuck that. Yep. I can't let, I can't let no girl, no nigga fuck my girl. Hey. Shit, I'll tell all you niggas. It is the truth, though. That's, that's what it is. That's exactly what's going to happen. Most of you niggas will tell for some pussy. That's exactly what happens though. You call the phone, your nigga over there. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. What you doing over there, my nigga? You know, he got video calls now in prison. Yeah. Uh -huh. He accidentally called his girl. She giving head to somebody. Oh, 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 hold up. Hold up. You niggas a tell, man. You niggas, new niggas snitch on your boy. Then fuck his girl. Yeah, you know, uh, don't don't hear, uh, you ain't hear this from me, but he was with the other chick last night. I'm just letting you know. But you ain't to, don't. Listen, I'm just saying, I fucks with you, though. I really like you. And yeah. with him, I don't know. But me, I listen, I fucks with you. I think you, I think you fine as hell. He shouldn't be doing this shit like that. Doing, you know what I mean? He, he, he can't support you. Talking about niggas he like snitch. Here. Niggas snitch on a boy for some pussy. But stay well. So I ain't doing like that. How you going Nigga, you can't even do a day in jail. I don't know, man. I ain't just a fine snitching. I'm just saying. You niggas be acting acting funny as hell. Like y'all can't forgive somebody for doing something. Like innocent. I, I forgive you, I six just, nine. I just know I can't trust niggas, man. That's just it. Like some niggas yeah. like like you know you gonna do a crime to with, with each other. Yeah. And it's true. You just know you just you can't you can't there's no guarantee this nigga gonna be stand up with you. You know what I mean? Like I got too many, I got friends. You already know. The reason we got people that's been locked up for niggas snitching on Listen, them. Man, I'm you know, not doing think, no crimes. They think they bad going to stand up for them. They bad don't stand up for. I ain't them, doing man. no crimes, my nigga. No crimes a, here. A good Sorry, of mine, man. Good I'm not friend. doing no crimes. A couple good friends of mine, man. Like, now I'm doing nothing. Here, I'm not doing no crimes with none of you niggas. Where's ball? Nah, I'm good. Where's ball? I'm doing no crimes with you niggas. I'm not the. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I do. <laughs> This is me, right? And I go if I go to a show, or if I go to like I go to a battle rap event, right? And be niggas, it be niggas from all over, especially niggas from Detroit, right? I'm gonna tell you right now, don't play with niggas from Detroit. <laughs> don't play with niggas from Detroit. Don't play with niggas from Detroit. No, do not play with niggas from Detroit because niggas from Detroit will fight you in Jersey, and they'll shoot you in Jersey, and they'll drive back to Detroit because they carry their shit with them. Across state lines, when they know it's illegal, and they still do it, they don't care. They don't give a fuck, and they always bring a nigga with them that just got out of jail <laughs> from doing beating a body or a case. Oh, he's my brother right here. Yeah, he just got out. Why was he locked up? Yeah, he said he killed some nigga, but the they never found they never found the gun, hey. so he got they let him go. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. These niggas from Detroit. Don't fuck with them niggas. <laughs> but I'm at a battle rap event. And one of my niggas from Detroit, his brother just got out of jail. And another battle rapper, his other brother was battling. Somebody, when, he, when, when the boy was battling his brother, they was all cheering for the other guy. But then <laughs> when his brother rapped, the niggas ain't cheer. They wasn't giving them no no respect. 
Okay. Not, not, not respect, but they wasn't saying, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's like, how I go. They wasn't doing that. It was a stone face, right? After the battle, the brother said, the one that just got out, you niggas, you niggas fucked up, man. I don't like this shit, bro. How you not going to cheer for my brother? When that nigga said that, guess where Maurice was at? <laughs> In his car pulling off. Yeah, as soon as you heard that, huh? Fuck that. I ain't no pussy. I'm definitely not no pussy, but I do not want to die off of a stray bullet or some other goofy shit that you niggas be doing at these events. Facts. Fuck that. That was one time I was in Philly. The other niggas don't play with. Goofy niggas from Philly. <laughs> I was in Philly. And Bull said, um, he came upstairs. We was in a, doing an event upstairs. He had a baby in a car seat. And the boy said, yo, bro, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's right that you bring your baby up in here. Hey, the nigga rap. pulled his shirt up and he had a gun <laughs> and said, don't ever tell me what's not right. What? Because the nigga was looking out for your kid. He had a baby in the car seat. So don't tell me everyone was not right. Don't ever tell me what's not right for mine. And he pulled the shirt back down. I got the thing on me right now. Like with a, with a baby. Guess where Maurice was at? In his car, pulling off. Oh, gone. I don't play these games, man. Cause I know how niggas get down. First of all, I'm not trying to be caught up in no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I agree wholeheartedly, man. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't play those games. So I'm not doing no crimes with none of you niggas. Once, once, I, once I know, once I hear a nigga even alluding to some goofy shit, first of all, I'm out of here. I'll see you niggas later. I don't even say bye sometimes. I just leave. First you know what I'm saying? Then I text niggas like, "Oh, see you later." <laughs> okay, I'm safe. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be on some bullshit sometimes, man, bro. Fuck all that. I ain't got time for that. Man, that got, niggas in here. I got, I, got, I got a lot of life to live, bro. I don't care. Niggas was in here one time fighting. They fought in my crib. Right in, right in, right in here. I'll show you the hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall right there. See it? Yeah. I, right I, there. Yeah. Ooh. Big asshole right there. <sighs> niggas fighting in my crib. I'm like, what? No. Y'all got to go. So I stopped having events here. That's why. But that wasn't the reason why. But that's that one of the reasons. Reason why. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Nah, fuck that. You're like, oh, you, what you doing at your crib? Nope, nope. No more events here. Why the fuck, why the fuck would I? No more. Look, this is battle rap. This yeah. is fucking words. Yeah, we fighting the words, not fighting for real. But, you know, rest in peace to, to, that, to that brother that passed away. That was, uh, he was one of the guys I was fighting. And he was cool. I like I liked him, but he he passed away. Rest in peace to him. Um, rest in peace to whoever it was. I was with. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Just, just but again, respect. man, I gotta commend six nine for uh, for just running through the bullshit and keep going. Yeah. You know he did bring a lot of the shit on himself. Yes, he did. But can you really say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean he doing what, the, what, what he doing what I learned from Rick Ross. What was that? Continue to make good music. Just keep on going, man. Don't stop. Because 50 Cent was on his fucking neck. Yeah, he was. And he was, he was telling yeah. them the truth about Rick. Yeah. He said, what Rick Ross said? He said, what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> he said, you, 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 you sold 30, you sold 30 million. He said, you sold 10 million copies. Yeah. Well, I bring out 10 albums and I sold 10 million copies. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> I said, damn. <laughs> he said, you bring out, you brought, you sold one album that had 10 million, and I bring out 10 albums that sold 1 million. What's the difference? <laughs> it's a difference, but I, I get what you're trying to say. It is a difference, but I get what he's saying, but it's just smooth. Yeah. Like, listen, nigga. Yeah. yeah. I still yeah. sold 10 million too. I just made more albums, do you? Yep, that's, that's <laughs> it. Why so what? You know what I mean? Like, you know, 50 was on his neck, yeah, called him every day. Yeah, 50 was. He, but yeah, most usually 50 would have canceled the nigga career. But what did Rick Ross do? Kept going. Kept going, making good music. Yeah. People was like, I don't care if he was Officer Ricky. 
That's people a ain't care if you, people ain't care if he was Officer Ricky. It That's does not a, care. If they, if they, oh man, they did not care, Reese. No, I'm saying people did not care. Y'all no, was like, no, how many niggas don't care? care? Niggas don't care. Niggas didn't care. They don't care. Niggas they did not don't care. care. Niggas, nigga was a cop. Niggas didn't nah, care. Nah, niggas was like, nah, he wasn't really a cop. He was a CO. That's a big difference. Nigga, when you go to jail, you ain't looking at the CO as, yo, you different from a cop. Word is bold. <laughs> like, no. No. <laughs> you like, that CO a cop. Correction officer. <laughs> like, you are not on my side. Yeah. You are not on the side of the so cops. He not a, he not, nigga, said, nigga said, he not the police. Like. He literally has a badge, a gun, and a f- and handcuffs, nigga. Like, what the fuck? No, nah, it's different. It's not the same. A cop is a cop. A CO is a is a CO. Even though it's they both have officer in their name. <laughs> and that's what Six Nine gonna have to keep on doing. Six Nine's gonna have to keep on making good music. Yeah. To yeah. make people wanna keep on taking care, worrying about what the fuck he's Yeah, man. Hey man. Listen, Six Nine, bro. Mm-hmm. Keep going, man. Don't stop what you're doing for these, for these, yeah. these motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers. Talk. Talk. You know what it is. Like, yeah, share, yeah. subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.